My name is Anmol Taktani and I am currently a second year full-time MBA student uh, here at the Fordham Gabelli School of Business. I'm pursuing a dual concentration in finance and fintech and uh, worked in financial services for about six years prior to coming to Fordham. Prior to Fordham, I graduated from Stony Brook University in 2014 and uh, I graduated with a Bachelor of Arts in Economics. And then probably right after graduation, probably a month after, I joined State Street as a collateralized loan obligation analyst. And I worked there for about a year and a half. And then when I kind of felt that I learned, you know, everything I could learn, I moved on to the Federal Reserve Bank of Boston. And there I worked in the credit risk management um, uh, department. And I was there for about four and a half years. And um, yeah, that really laid the foundation for my career. And I, you know, I met a lot of great people and um, a lot of, you know, good skills, but I felt like an MBA would really help me uh, take my career to the next level, which is why I, you know, I was then, I was like, okay, now it's time to go back to school and, and go back to business school and get my, my degree. So that's really kind of how things uh, played out. I guess the main two priorities I was really looking at is um, where can I see myself living and working for the next two years and which school would give me the most well-rounded experience. So prior to coming to Fordham, I actually reached out to a few students on LinkedIn and um, kind of just wanted them to like talk me through their day in life as a student here and what they liked, what they didn't like, um, what you know, what did they kind of get out of it? What were they learning? What were the classmates like? So I really enjoyed my conversations with them and I felt like I could see myself, you know, at Fordham. So I thought that this really would be the place for me. And of course, you know, it's in New York City, it's in a great location. Um, I knew I wanted to work in finance and there's so many amazing companies, you know, in New York City. So I felt like the opportunities here would just be um, unmatched, you know, when it came to my career. And then um, I think Fordham just does a really good job at um, selecting candidates from different backgrounds. So I didn't want to go to a school that was just finance people or just consulting people. I wanted people who were coming in from like tech, marketing, fashion. I wanted to learn from all of them as well. So um, I really enjoyed that. And I think that the community that Fordham really fosters is one of a kind. You know, everyone wants to help each other. They want to network with you. They um, are willing to answer your questions, you know, however big or small they are. So I think that that was something that was very important to me and it was a top priority. So uh, that was really kind of what drew me to it. And I'm really happy that I did. I feel like I've changed for the better over these last uh, year, over the last year and a half. That's also another reason why um, Fordham stuck out to me is because FinTech is a concentration that isn't really offered in other schools from what I could see. And coming from finance, you know, I knew that getting an MBA in finance would help me boost my career, but I also wanted to add a little bit else, something else to it that I hadn't done before. So FinTech is so, it's so new, but it's like always developing. And I knew that to be on like the, you know, the front edge of, you know, all the new, um, the new technology and, and all the, the new advancements that are coming out of that, I wanted to be on that front and I wanted to learn as much as I can. And I know for me, most likely this is gonna be my last time in school. So I was like, let me just make the most of it and, and add another concentration into it. So, um, but it's been great. I think the professors are very hands-on and a lot of them work in the industry. So they're very good at uh, teaching you from their point of view versus just like reading from books and taking exams. Like their knowledge is very, real world based and i really very much appreciate that so um it's been cool it's been it's been challenging it's you know something that i've never really tackled before so like for example this semester i'm taking a class in python which i've never you know done before so while it's a little like a um, nerve-wracking it's also kind of exciting that i am given this opportunity to do so and um, i think it's there's a lot of support from the school you know to do well and um, so far, it's been great. I think I'm. I'm also. I'm proud of myself that I was able to add on this like second concentration because, you know, you do have to take a lot of classes and put in a lot of more time at the end of the day. So, but I'm sure it'll be rewarding, and I'm sure it'll help me in my in my career going forward. 
I uh, I interned at American Express this past summer, and um, I felt like you know all the companies are kind of moving towards you know some aspect of fintech. You know, they're all kind of trying to be, um, I guess, more. They're more, all trying to catch up to like what's going on. And um, you know, I heard bits and pieces at at, at American Express of people like. Um, you know, they, they merged with the fintech company recently and they are, you know, trying to move towards like that kind of avenue. So I think just having that, um, like the vocabulary and, and the jargon down was also very helpful when I was interning because I kind of could piece together what they were talking about, even as I was like so new and I was, you know, I was an intern, I was just barely learning. So I think it has definitely built my confidence a little bit more to be able to converse with people. And um, I, I think that it's something like it just it just adds on to your resume in a way right like it's something that is um it's so new and people want to see you kind of putting yourself out there and challenging yourself so i think that has helped me in a way when it comes to interviews because when i say fintech they're like oh wow i've that's i've never heard of an mba in fintech so i think that it's um it's 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 only helped me i think you know it's it's been challenging but i, I feel very good that i've that i've done it For me, it was quite, I guess, shocking for lack of a better word, how quickly things are changing. You know, something I learned last year is not the same this year. And I think it's such a, it's a, such a, it's a topic that's continuously moving and continuously shifting. And for me, um, that was something I, I didn't really kind of put together. So uh, I think that's something that I'm really going to have to take with me as I graduate and keep learning and keep trying to make sure that I'm up to speed on everything that's, you know, going on. Uh, just given how things are, you know, currently moving and adapting. So, um, but I do think that the professors here have made quite a impact on me and made sure that I have the foundation and like the skills that I need to graduate and take, make, make sure I'm like taking those skills and, um, you know, making sure I'm making the most of it after I, after I graduate. The Career Development Center was a huge resource for me. It still is. Um, I was actively recruiting in my first year and I went to them many, many times to ask for help on resumes, applications, networking, whatever the case may be. And they were nothing but helpful. And I think they played a very large role in my, um, my internship um, application at, at American Express. So I think that, that they've really gone out of their way to help someone like me. And um, I also think that along with the Career Development Center, I, the alumni base at Fordham has been very much unmatched. I used to reach out to people all the time, let them know that I'm, I'm looking for an internship and I'm looking for their help or guidance or, you know, whatever questions they could answer for me. And um, I was always met with nothing but encouragement and support. And uh, I think that just speaks to the community that Fordham has fostered. And even after you graduate, you're willing to help the current day students and make sure that they get to where they want to be. So in that way, I think Fordham has really done an amazing job with that. Coming into it, I didn't realize how big of a role networking would play. You know, I thought it was like, you do your schoolwork and you look for a job to like, you know, secure at the end of your graduation. But from day one, they have stressed how important networking is. And I've since realized that it has played a role in my development as a business school student. But going into it, that was not something I really expected. I kind of thought it would be like on the side, speak to a few people, learn from them. But I think for to land a role and to be, you know, um, you know, and to learn as much as you can, I think networking has is definitely very, very crucial. So that was something that definitely surprised me. Uh, but I will say it has helped me because I think the ability to reach out to someone and and someone you don't know and just be like, hey, I'm you know I'm currently at the school you, you used to be at. Do you mind kind of giving me a helping hand and answering some questions? I think that that is uh, it's not something a lot of people do, and I think business school has really taught me that it's okay to do that. And I think I'll continue that you know even after I graduate, as I'm looking for a role down the line and I want to reach out to someone at a company that I aspire to be at. I think that I'll be able to do so just because I've done it now. I uh, I was a very shy child. I didn't like public speaking. Um, I never raised my hand in class. I you know I never was involved on campus. I was very much like kind of 
you know, sat in the, you know, the back and never really spoke up. And I knew that I wanted my graduate school career to be different. And I wanted to step out of my comfort zone. I wanted to be pushed out of my comfort zone, actually. And I think I've done that. You know, I've been uh, involved in like class discussions. We do a lot of um, presentations. So public speaking has definitely been, you know, improved for me. I'm still working on it. I think there's a lot of things I can improve on, but it, I've seen that, you know, improvement. And I've been a part of clubs. I'm the co-president of the Fordham Finance Society. Um, I'm the treasurer of women in business. So I think being able to take these leadership roles now and looking back to where I was in undergrad or even high school, it's such a large change for me. And I'm, I'm very happy I did it because, you know, if not now, then when, right? I think that if you're in business school, I wanted to make the most of my time here and I wanted to make sure that I leave when I graduate, I want to look back and say, okay, I did everything I possibly could. So. Um, I'm hoping that, you know, I can do that in May and, and look back and say that, okay, I'm proud of the steps I took and the actions I took. And um, yeah, but I, I have definitely seen a big, big change in myself. And I think Fordham has definitely pushed me to be the best version of myself. And um, I'm excited to see where things go after, after graduation as well. Keep an open mind. You know, that's, it's such an, it's such a, you, you go into business school thinking that you're going to come out of it with one thing, but you have to make sure that, you know, you take chances and you try and learn new things and you listen to people that people may have different perspectives than you. And, uh, you know, they might come from different backgrounds than you. So you want to make sure that you are learning from every single person that you speak to. And, you know, you may come into business school with the idea that you're going to graduate, you know, or you're going to go into investment banking, but you may find marketing to be, very appealing and you might go down that route. So like, it's so important to just make sure that these two years you keep an open mind as you know, as much as you can and be, you know, be open to change, like make sure that you're just, you know, you're um, ready and willing to kind of accept whatever is kind of brought on to you. And, um, you know, for me, it was, like I said, like, you know, networking wasn't a big, you know, factor for me coming into it, but as I was, I kind of, talk to more people and I, I spoke to the CDC, they made it so clear that you need it to be successful. So I kind of had to throw that into my into my mix. And like I said, you know, I was a very shy person. It wasn't reaching out to a stranger online wasn't something that I'd never I had never done. So having to do that, I think it was just something that I was like, okay, it's part of the game. Gotta do it. So I would say that if you are willing to kind of um, you know put yourself out there, they'll make all the difference in the world.